Hey, how's it going, guys? This is your boy Hazed, and today we're going to be playing the Unholy DK on the Legion Beta, of course, testing it out, having some fun. Um, last time we did it, we came in like third, fourth in damage. Uh, we found out the damage is definitely toned down quite a bit, but I feel like I could do a little bit more pressure now that Ruin the Fallen Crusader bug has definitely been taken care of, and of course, we're going to benefit from extra strength. So, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this battleground and have fun with Unholy. We're in Deep Wind Gorge on the Unholy Death Knight. For some reason, just felt like playing it, uh, of course, on the beta here. Um, last time I did, the damage was kind of mediocre. I have a feeling I'll do a bit better this time. Um, not really sure why. I just I just feel like it will. I believe Fallen Crusader, the last time I played it, was not actually proccing correctly, which could be a pretty large percentage of uh, my damage on Unholy. So I'll go ahead and uh, test it out here. Looks like I'm not using that. Okay, I'm going to spread my dots off. I'm getting caught on little rocks and stuff. That doesn't make any sense. There's quite a few healers on the other team. Uh, looks like there's some healers on my team too, so uh, I should be all right to go in pretty solid here. And then I'm going to blow out some cooldowns on that healer. I'm going to try and pull that healer in. Pulling healer in and uh, dealing AoE pressure to everyone in. Healer, I think that healer just bailed. He was like, nope, I'm out, I'm out. He doesn't even want any of it. Oh, gosh, I didn't even get to burst on something. Hold on. Let, let, no, I'm not going to get a time to burst on him either. Just trying to hit everything, I guess. Uh, we dealt quite a bit of damage, I think, there. I don't got grip up to peel that off somebody, but it looks like we absolutely dominated him in mid. Um, I'm, I don't really think my damage is going to be too amazing here. Um, just looking at the fact... I was looking at those three infernals over there. I was like, that just looks really cool. But... Um, my damage isn't going to be insane at the moment because the fights were very long. They were definitely bursty. Um, so yeah, we're definitely sitting about fourth place as unholy damage. Of course, before, we would have been topping damage in that fight just by applying dots like that and uh, slapping our face on Outbreak, but definitely not at this point. I want to get into some better fights, but I feel like this whole team that we're fighting just left. They were like, no, we're not going to, nope, not dealing with this today. We're getting the heck out of here. Um, but, uh, looks like some respawned right there. Some are going south. Yeah, I'll go south. I'm not going to go try to camp them at their base. I'll go try and get in, uh, maybe a couple 1v1s or something will be nice. Not really sure where this guy is going. Let's, let's, uh, let's go see where he's going. He's just like, oh, he's going to get the cart. That's what he's doing. Wow. Uh, I need to be able to think here. Like, I'm just like, what is this dude doing? He's just running off in the middle of nowhere. Like, yo, bro chilling all right we're gonna get this guy i think there's another guy that's going up here to fight him too so we're not gonna get any 1v1s he bailed he bailed he was like nope not even gonna try and get it yeah you don't get away from icy chains dude playing dots on this guy we're actually gonna get our burst off on him hopefully he's trying to run um i'm gonna catch up by using wraith walk i was like what did that warrior just like one shot that guy i know we can get it one more stack um but i'm just gonna go for it boom and just blow him up right there i really wanted to get a good hit on somebody that wasn't even worth blowing cooldowns on i'm gonna kite out that monk since he's focusing us he's done for all right let's go find something to fight like where are all of them hiding at there needs to be more action oh it looks like they actually capped south we, we got something to do now all right, a lot going on out here. Hmm. Let's see, we got Feral Druid. We got. What else do we got? We got more Demon Hunters. More Demon Hunters. Demon Hunters everywhere. All right, applying more dots to these two in mid before we start dealing in that spread pressure. I'm gonna go in on this Druid that's quite low health. Gonna blow some uh, cooldowns. And uh, after I get, it, I'm just gonna trigger that stun. I don't want to be anywhere near that Demon Hunter. Oh, there's two Demon Hunters right here still. Okay. Still playing the damage. Looks like that guy is actually thinking about focusing me. I'm going to AMS so I don't take that AoE cleave damage right there. And uh, get kill. Going to go in for some melee damage on this DK. And it looks like... Are you using purgatory? Are you using purgatory? I'm so... So depressed in that guy right now. Like... When I think about DKs using Purgatory, I, I I picture that that commercial on TV where the animals come up and they play that really saw really sad music in the background. That's that's what happens every time when I see a DK using Purgatory, guys. He should not be doing that. And we're gonna hit this guy really hard there. No, it wasn't that big a one. It didn't crit or anything. But uh, we definitely slapped that guy pretty hard. We got a whole army here. We're gonna go in with. We got an affliction. It looks like a demon hunter over here. 
playing dots to both, and then going to, of course, get on the Demon Hunter. Throwing out some cooldowns there. Wow, they just kind of exploded. Yeah, they got, like, smashed on. All right, we got two monks here. This will be kind of more fun. Maybe. Maybe it'll be more fun. <laughs> Maybe it's almost already over as it is. I'm just going to stay away from that Fist of Fury. Yeah, there we go. Now I can go back in. Transforming my ghoul. Is that guy karma -ing? Looks like I incapacitated. Playing dots. Looks like rogues open up on me. Use IBF there. Yeah, he didn't even want to try to focus us after that. Was that a rogue? Or was that... That was another monk, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a monk. Okay. We're just going to deal range pressure. He's still going to die, I think. Maybe to dots, unless he has his heals. There goes some heals. I don't think that tree counts as LOS. But uh, I, apparently it does. I'm going to pull my pet out before he dies. My pet's going to die to dots. Pull him back from this unholy DK before those monks come down with him. Because if uh, I try to fight all of them, there it is. There's the monk getting incapacitated. Trying to stay away from that guy. If I can get out of that guy's range, he can't push into me here. All right, we're going to pull monk in. Or, I mean, uh, warlock. Warlock's going to go down pretty fast. Looks like some people focus him too. Going to go after those monks. Dotting him up. I'm going to dot that other guy behind the wall, too. And I'm going to peel him off that boomy with the chains there. That's going to make the Demon Hunter mad. Incapacitated. Oh, he's running. Not going to be able to catch him. going to turn out around on Demon Hunter. I'm going to grip him back down. Well, hello, buddy. And looks like we are actually... Are we winning this? Kind of winning it, for the most part. Gonna, nope, not going to have enough time to burst on that guy. Come on, we need some more stuff. Like, I, I don't feel like I have enough stuff to kill. We need more dot damage. We're definitely doing second in damage. Um, ahead of most classes. But we haven't really dealt with major AoE fights. I haven't secured many kills because I haven't been able to really set up my artifact burst very often. Everything seems to be dying too quickly. We're still doing good damage, though, guys. I'd have to say Unholy's doing fine. I believe we have, uh, yeah, Unholy Strength back, of course. Uh, which I didn't have in the last video, and it really made Unholy's damage look kind of small. But now that we have um, Rune of the Fallen Crusader back to proccing like it normally should, it looks like the damage is a bit better than what it was. Because I was a bit worried there for a little bit. Like, it wasn't looking very hot there for a second. Like, for a hot moment, it was like, I don't know. Don't really know about that one. That was a pretty harsh nerf uh, when they took away the enchants, which I thought that was the way they wanted it. But then I started thinking about it, and I was like, there's no way. I said it a few times. I was like, there's no way they, they did it this way because DKs are balanced around that enchant. And uh, that would just be kind of odd. <laughs> That they just take away everything. Like, nope, you guys, uh, you guys don't get to be having those talents that uh, you're balanced around. So good, good luck. All right, let's stack up some damage on this guy. Did I get karma? Yeah, I got karma. Wow, why are you karma me? All right, just gonna do some AOE pressure while that karma is happening. And uh, as soon as I can, I'm going to stack a couple more stacks on him. And then I'm going to rupture him with some slight cooldowns rolling. And uh, he's going to be half health. And then we're going to go in for some more damage here. Big melee damage and good game. All right, get over here, Mr. Druid. No, look, looks like we can kill his healer. Wow. Oh, yeah, I was like, what exploded him? Another unholy DK using his artifact on him. That makes sense. Why aren't we capping this flag? There, is someone getting it? All right, awesome. Good job, Druid. His name's... Sp is that Spam Moonfire? Yeah, his name's Spam Moonfire. He's going to be our friend. Fight me. Don't, uh, nope, not going to fight you inside your defensives, obviously. He's immune. He's immune to everything. He's dead. He's given up. He's like, nope, not even going to try. You guys are mean. Stupid meanie heads. Keep killing me. Won't even want to be one me. You know that's what he's saying. He's pissed. Probably in some more colorful language, though. 
Alright, let's check some damage. We're definitely in second place. I can't believe we're behind a hunter. Oh, beta leveling room. Alright, so when it comes to beta leveling room, some people are iffy, and then you have some people that have, like, higher, you know, item level PvE gear that's scaled up percentage-wise a little bit. I think it'd be pretty powerful inside Battlegrounds. You can definitely tell when somebody has, um, you know, like, good leveling gear compared to not good, or good PvE gear compared to, you know, just regular PvP gear, because obviously... Uh, if they're doing, like, Mythic and stuff, it's going to be higher item level, which is going to scale uh, strength percentage up uh, a little bit. But it's enough to definitely tell a difference in DPS, especially in, like, uh, an elongated uh, fight. All right, I'm going to stack up uh, some stuff on this guy when I can. Nice eye beam. Nice, nice, very effective eye beam. Just going to heal up off him with a death strike here. This guy's like, why won't he die? And then he gets killed, smashed on. Affliction Warlock, get over here, Affliction Warlock. Gonna heal up off of him. Um, I don't have cooldowns, I don't have artifact. This is gonna be kinda scary. It looks like he's Demo. He's Demo, isn't he? Ooh, this is even more interesting. No, he's not, he's Affliction. What just happened? Am I also, do I also have a Demo on me? Wait, no, he is Demo. Wait a minute, I'm so confused right now. I'm so confused. He, he's, he's... He, 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 what am I, what? I, I keep interrupting that guy's cast on unstable affliction. Like, I'm not going to let him stack that on me. But the problem is, I've got a healer over here. And uh, he's healing this guy. And uh, I don't have many defensives at this point. I just, uh, why isn't, oh, oh, oh goodness. Oh, goodness, corp shield. All right, now I'm fine. I got AMS too. I got Harry for a second. I was like, where's my corp shield? And then my pet was already dead. Genius. Genius. You should have did quite a bit of damage there to that team, I'd have to say. Um, let's check. Oh, that guy's still ahead of us. See, that hunter's going ham. Yeah, I've got to say, unholy damage, guys, not bad. It's really not bad. I'd have to say it's definitely balanced out more. Why am I saying that so much? Like, why is that my term at the moment? Like, once in a while, I go through phases where I say guys a lot or I say... You know, just something weird. Like, I just say something a lot in every video. Don't know why. It's like a crutch or something. I don't even know. Don't know why it happens. It needs to stop, though. But, you know, it's it probably won't stop. I'll probably just keep changing to something different, hoping it'll be slightly less annoying, even though I don't know I'm actually doing it. So, don't know what I can do about it, but we'll try. <laughs> like, I realize that after I say it, like, just slightly after I say it, I'm like, I just said it again. Smashing that guy with some major cooldowns. There we go. Uh, red name. Rogue. We'll go fight a rogue. We'll do it. Rogue and Viz dropping TNT. And uh, it kind of worked. Be re and Viz, really? He's gone? Gone for good? Okay, then. And that's going to be the end of the battleground. All right, let's take a look at the damage. Uh, one final time. I got to say, guys, unholy DK damage is not bad. Uh, in Battlegrounds, I'm definitely putting out some higher numbers as Frost, but I, it's still viable. It's still strong, guys. So don't believe it. It was nerfed into the ground or anything like that. Um, on the beta, of course, they have a bit more single target than they do on live right now, considering, of course, uh, PvP talents and, of course, you know, artifact damage. Um, still fun to play. I really enjoyed this match. I had to do a lot of kiting. Uh, I mean, slightly a lot of kiting. Not really that much. Um, there was a couple AoE fights there that boosted our damage up quite a bit. Uh, I'd have to say, but like in longer fights, there I went, I said it again, said it again, guys. In healer fights, I'd see Unholy doing quite a bit more damage um, than it is, of course, in this battleground. Because this one was extremely bursty. There was a lot of just running in, Alliance dying fast, us killing them, and then rolling through. It looks like their healers gave up kind of early. So anyways, guys, go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, this was your boy Hayes.